Hi guys, it's Dr. Flynn from Running Animal Clinic. This is Maisie. She is volunteering today to help us show how to do ear cleanings. So there's a couple of supplies that we'll need. Um, we'll need some ear cleaner. We'll need some soft gauze. Um, so when we talk about gauze, we want it to be nice and soft. This one, if I rub my hand on it, doesn't feel prickly or bristly um, because if we use the harder gauze, it can actually cause a lot of damage to the ear. And then we want some Q-tips. They don't have to be extra long Q-tips. Um, rule of Q-tips are the tip of the Q-tip can go where I can see it. We don't put Q-tips down anywhere you, you can't see it. So those are some of the supplies we'll need for cleaning. And then this kiddo is getting some medication in her ear too. Um, so how do we clean an ear? Um, this one you do want to kind of shake a little bit. It has a moisturizer in it. So we shake it up a little bit. Sometimes we can put it in a um, cup of warm water and let it sit for a few minutes. That will help um, not shock so much as it could be cold fluid in an ear. It doesn't always feel very good. Um, so there's a couple of different ways you can fill the ear canal. You can kind of pull it back and pour and that kind of pours and fills and fills and fills and fills until I see the fluid is kind of all the way up at the top there. That's what you're aiming for. And then I take a piece of gauze, put it at the end, and I'm massaging kind of right at the base of the head. What that does is it helps break up all that material that's deep down in that ear canal, floats it to the top. And so this is the messy part here. I'm gonna kind of wipe away the debris that's floated to the top, icky gross. And then I let her kind of shake if she wants to. That helps bring all that material that's down in the ear canal up and out, okay? And so we kind of repeat this process until we don't really get any more. Um, another way you can fill the ear if they don't like the pour method is to squirt some on a piece of cotton and then you can kind of squirt it in the ear. Um, that can sometimes be a little bit uh, glorious sound. <laughs> so that, that sound is the squishing of um, all the material from the side of the ear, some of the fluid that helps break up all the stuff that's kind of really stuck in those crevices. And again, we just kind of wipe, gross. I'm just gonna keep doing that. She doesn't have a ton in there, so it shouldn't take too long to get all the gross stuff out. And don't be shy. You can stick your finger all the way down their ear and not cause damage to the actual eardrum. Your finger's way too big. Their ear canal goes down and takes a sharp turn. So as long as you're not shoving Q-tips down there, you are not gonna do damage to that ear canal, okay? You're being very brave, maybe. So, and it's like not really getting a ton of debris there anymore. You can kind of stop. Um, then I'll kind of go in with my Q-tips and they have all these nice little ridges and folds of the ear. So this is where all those little goodies like to hang out. So we kind of go down in the crevices and, and get the gunk out of there, okay? And again, I just take my Q-tip wherever I can see the tip of that Q-tip. I'm not going to shove it down where I can't see it because that could actually go down into the eardrum. It's much smaller than your finger. Okay, so once I get all those little nooks and crannies kind of cleaned up there, everything looks beautiful, nice and clean, I can take my medication. So this is a medication that sometimes we'll send home with you guys to treat at home. And it's got this nice long nozzle on it. Okay, and so that's meant to go in the ear. So we take that, we put it in, kind of put it down in there, give it a little squirt, and then squirt while you're coming out there. And then again, just kind of massage. And that just helps bring, bring it down into the little crevices. And if it's a little red or swollen around these edges, I just kind of take the excess and kind of put it all around just so it helps cure that ear infection. Maybe it was very brave, and that's how you do clean ears and medicate. Thank